Alrighty, let's see if we can repair this and get it on video. Wouldn't that be cool? So, we pulled it out of the dryer and found these two little parts laying on the floor in front of the dryer. So, this is the part that goes under here, and this is the part that goes on here. And it has, it's got some little dimples there. I thought that it would have a, a spindle that would stick through there, but the dimples stick out on the inside. And so, hopefully we can snap it back in place. Now the concern is that it may unsnap itself, but if that happens, we'll, we'll figure out a plan B. I wanna have this where the working side is toward me. So it goes, let's see. See this will go in here and hopefully snap down right there. So this goes inside. Yeah, it's the same on each side, so it doesn't care which way it goes. And this goes in here. Okay, and what we want to do is try to snap that down over this. See, it's got a little... I don't know if you can see that this part actually has a hole through the middle where, where those dimples fit. Now what I have is a special pair of pliers they're called parallel pliers, where most pliers go like this. This one goes like this, parallel plier. And it's not shiny on the inside, but it's not, doesn't have teeth. So it should, it should hopefully grip, but not, but not leave a mark. So what we wanna do is we wanna get it cinched up there real good so that when it snaps down, if it does, that the dimples on the inside right there will snap into those holes. That's what we're aiming for. See if we can get this open far enough. Yeah. All right, and then just very gently give it a little parallel plier grip and yeah, it looks like it's wanting to let go again. We might we might have to go to a plan B because it's it looks like it's trying to let go. Whatever it was that made it let go in the first place probably loosened it up enough that it doesn't want to stick. So our other option and I don't know, because this is probably stainless steel, which is going to be real hard. But our other option could be to go ahead and drill through there and secure it with a wire, kind of rivet it in place. Let's see, though, if we can use this parallel plier to press that together a little tighter. Okay, now, we want to make sure we have it right where we want it. Give it a little grip, and then let it... Okay. I don't know, let's try that. And if it comes apart again, we'll figure up 
an alternate way to uh, work this zipper. It's on for now though. Looks like it could pull itself off pretty easily. I think I'm gonna try it one more time with the parallel plier. All right, we'll see if that does it.